Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala seyyidil mursalin. Nabiyyina Muhammed ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. This is our first lesson from Tafsir from the Quran. And I have a special young child with me. What's your name? Saleh Ola. Saleh Ola. Well done. And it was your idea to do Tafsir, wasn't it? Yeah. Why? Because we we obviously doing something. You know, like we did the book about Zero, we're okay. doing a book about Fatiha. Okay, so two years ago, not last year, because we were busy last year, but the year before that, we did Zero of the Prophet Sallallahu in Ramadan. Mm -hmm. And now we're doing Tafsir of Surah Fatiha and Surah Falak and Surah Nas in this Ramadan. And this is a very good choice of yours, I'll tell you why. Because Ramadan was the month that Allah revealed the Quran to Prophet Sallallahu Allah said in the Quran, Inna anzalnahu. What did he say? Inna anzalnahu fi laylatil qadr. Yes, thank you. Inna that means Allah revealed the Quran to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr comes in Ramadan. Okay. Why is it important that we understand the Quran? What do you think, Salih? We. We have to understand the Quran so we can go to Jannah. Excellent. Very good. Allah says in the Quran that there's some people who read the Quran but they don't know what they're reading. They're not following the Quran properly. They're not following the Quran properly. And the biggest surah in the Quran with Allah, the one that Allah loves the most, guess what surah it is? Baqarah. That's the longest surah. Which is the one that Allah loves the most? What is the best surah Ikra. in the Quran? The best surah in the Quran. Maybe Ikra because the first one. The best surah in the Quran is Surah Fatiha. Did you know that? The yeah. best surah in the Quran is Surah Fatiha. And it's only seven ayat. It's only seven lines. It's only seven lines. And you know what? When you pray Surah Fatiha, you know what happens? Yeah. You know when you say... Alham, can you do Surah Fatiha with me? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. You know when you do that in Salah, you know when you say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, you know what Allah says above His Arsh? He said, My servant Saleh, or whoever else who's praying Salah and saying Surah Fatiha, He said good things about me. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. He said good things about me again. Maliki Yawmiddin. He made me the king. And then when you say Iya can abudu wa Iya can astain, Allah says, "This is for me, and this is for my servant, for you. Half is for you, and half is for me." Ihdin al sirat al mustaqim. But then when you say Ihdin al sirat al mustaqim, Allah says, "My my person who's praying in front of me, my servant, he's asked me to gu to guide him, and I will guide him." Isn't that amazing? When you are praying Surah Fatiha in Salat, you are actually speaking to Allah. You are actually speaking to Allah. Allah. Now, also, in Surah Fatiha, it is also a type of a Ruqya. And this is important for little children and even adults like me and you, and mummy, and little children also like you and Muhammad. That when you get poorly, when you get poorly, when you recite He's Surah like Fatiha... This is called Rukya. What's it called? Rukya. Rukya. So when you do Surah Fatiha, the Prophet ﷺ also told us that it is Rukya and it can give you Shifa. If you've got a headache, if you've got, if you've got uh, sneezing, if you're coughing too much, if you put your hand on your chest and you say, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and you know that Allah is going to give you a Shifa, Allah is going to cure you, then it will help you Surah Fatiha. Okay? Yeah. Right. Let's quickly do today Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Why do we think why do you think we start with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim? Because that What does it mean first? What does Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim mean? I would be like in the Shaitan and Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim means that you're starting before you're doing the whole surah. When you start you start with the name of Allah and Allah's name is Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim. Okay, so when you say Bismillah, it means I am going to do this, Bismillah, for the for the sake of Allah, in the name of Allah. Okay, I don't want to get toys from it. I don't want people to say, oh, look at him, he's such a good boy. I don't want people to say, oh, look at his voice, is so nice. When you say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, before you do anything, and especially the Quran, 
that means we are reciting the Quran and reciting Salah and etc. Just for Allah. Just for Allah. Allah. Allah's name is Rahman and Allah's name is Rahim. Rahman means that He is full of mercy. He always wants to do good things. Rahman is somebody, Allah always wants to do good things. And Rahim means when He does the good things for you. When He does the good things for you. So now, for example, if you have a problem and say, Oh Allah, I want to learn to read, I want to learn how to ride my bike. And you say, Oh Allah, you're Rahman. You are the only one that can help me because you are the most kind. My Baba's kind, my mommy's kind, but you are the most kind. Do you understand? And then when he actually helps you, then that shows you that he is Rahim. When he is doing that action, when he is actually helping you and having mercy on you, then he is Rahim. So when we say Bismillah Rahman Rahim, what does it mean? It means we start in the name of Allah. What does Rahman mean? That we start in the name of Allah. Yeah, but what does Rahman mean? He is, he is the most, most kind. The most kind, good, and the most merciful. Okay, and when he is being Rahim towards you, what does that mean? It means he is being nice, nice. to you when he gives you things. Okay, right. This is the end of the first lesson today, and tomorrow we will look at Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so now we say at the end, Wa sallallahumma ala nabiyyina Muhammad.